Okay, these are your interactive notebook pages that will finish up our fraction unit. So, um, you can draw models to figure out which fraction's big, bigger, or if you want to use your rules, if you can't remember your rules, then remember the butterfly will always work. So, bottom up, four times two is eight. Bottom up, four times three is 12. 12 is greater than eight, so three-fourths would be greater than two-fourths. They have like denominators, so we know three is greater than two. You could also draw this if you wanted to. You could quickly draw two rectangles, cut them into four sections, top one shade three, bottom one shade two, and you can see three-fourths has more shaded than two-fourths, so three-fourths will be greater than two-fourths. That will only work with like denominators, okay? So let's try this one, let's butterfly two and one. Two times one is two. Bottom up, six and one. Six times one is six. Six is greater than two. So again, greater than. So finish this page using your butterfly. You can butterfly under the tab if you prefer. You could draw pictures under the tab or number lines will work with those fractions as well. Okay, the next page says compare fractions with the same denominator. So it says lay out one whole bar. So they've done that for us. Lay out the bars for the first fraction under the one whole. So this is my two thirds. Lay out the fraction that's being compared. Compare the two fractions and determine which is longer. So one third, so two thirds, one third. Which one is longer? The two thirds is longer, right? So we know two thirds is greater than one third. You can also butterfly this, three and one is three. Three and two is six. Six is greater than three. So again, greater than there. Same thing down here. You can follow these steps. You can butterfly them or you can draw models. I can quickly draw two rectangles and cut them into fours, kind of similar to what I just did. Top one shade three, bottom one shade one. Which one's longer? Three fourths is longer, so again, greater than. We can also butterfly these. Bottom up, four times one is four. Bottom up, four times three is 12. 12 is greater than four, so three fourths is greater than one fourth. Okay, the next page, you have multiple fractions. I would either use the rules, you'll see they all have like denominators. So I could either do number lines, I could do bar models, or I could just use the rule about looking at the numerators. I would not butterfly these because you have three. You would have to do three butterflies if you butterfly them. But since we have like denominators, I know I can look at the top. So if I wanted to put them in order from greatest to least, the greatest numerator would be five. So I know five sevenths would come first. Three sevenths would be in the middle, and one seventh would be the smallest. I could draw a model of this. I could do them on number lines. There's lots of ways I could figure out. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, almost made it too small, six, seven. Five would be the greatest. Three, four, five. Three would go in the middle, and one, of course, would be the smallest. So there's a quick little model of those fractions. So I don't think this page will give you any trouble because of they all having like denominators. Now, there were some fractions on there that did not have like denominators, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But all of these did, so you can simply order them by just looking at the numerators. Okay? Now, if you have fractions that have different denominators, such as one third and two eighths, you can still do bar models to determine which one is greater. We're gonna butterfly them. So I can go bottom up, three times two is six. Bottom up, eight times one is eight. Eight is greater than six, so one third. 
would be greater than 2 eighths. Same thing down here, bottom up. 4 times 4 is 16. Bottom up. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 is less than 16, so my left side should be less than. Since 12 is less, 2 fourths is less. So butterfly work, or you can draw your models as well. So on these, we do not have like denominators, but we do have like numerators. Now there was a rule that you can use that said, if your numerators are the same, the more you cut it, the smaller your fraction becomes. If you use that rule, then you will know that the six should be the smallest one. But since that rule's kind of a struggle, I'm gonna do number lines on this one. So I need three number lines because I have three fractions. This one's gonna be my one third, so they all should start with zero. They should all end in one. This one's cut into three, and I want this first one, this one third. This one's cut into twos, because it's a half, and I want that one half. And this one's cut into six. And I want that one six. So now I can tell which one is closer to one, which one is further down the line. The half, so one half should be first, it's the greatest. In the middle would be one third. And the smallest one, the one closest to zero is one six. So number lines will work to tell fractions and they're putting them in order from greatest to least. Um, you can also do a bar model. So I'm gonna do a bar model on this one. So just remember if you're doing a bar model all of your rectangles need to be the same length to start with. So this first one is gonna be cut into three and shade one of those. So this is my one third. The middle one is gonna be cut into two pieces and shade one of those. So that's my one half. And this one needs to be cut into 12 pieces, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I need to cut each one of those to turn six into 12, very small pieces. Remember, the more I cut it, the smaller they get, and shade one. So now we can look at how much is shaded and number them, or order them. Which one did I shade the most of? The one half. Which one would be middle? One third. And which one hardly has anything shaded? That one twelfth. So number lines, bar models. Now, if you are to butterfly them, the reason I don't do butterflying when I have three fractions to compare is you would have to butterfly one half with one eighth and figure out who's bigger. Then you would have to butterfly one half with one fourth and figure out who's bigger. Then you would have to do one eighth and one fourth to figure out who's bigger. And that can get very complicated. I prefer to do when I have three to use the number line or the bar model to figure out my order. And you can also use the rule if you understand that the more you cut it, the smaller your fraction is. So one eighth has been cut into the most number of pieces, so it would be the smallest fraction. Four, we go in the middle, and then two, those pieces would be big because you only cut it into one, uh, into two pieces. So let's do another bar model just to show you what I mean. So again, my holes have to be the same length. And I need three because we have three fractions. The first one is cut in a half. So cut it in the middle and shade one. One eighth. I need to cut it into eight pieces. Try to make them equal and shade one. Already you can see the more pieces, the smaller my unit fraction is. And then four pieces and shade one. So which one has the most shaded? The top one, which was my half, so it should go first. It's the largest. Which one's in the middle? This one fourth. 
And which one had the least amount shaded? My one eighth. The more you cut it, the smaller it becomes. So that unit fraction order was one half, one fourth, one eighth, big to little. Okay, and that's your interactive notebook pages. So once again, when numerators are the same, different denominators, same numerators are just different altogether, butterfly. Same denominator, we can just simply look at the top to put them in order. And again, you can always butterfly to check or draw models. And then butterflying to tell if it's greater than, or less than. Now, I didn't answer all these because I want you to try them on your own. And that we shall finish up your interactive notebook on fractions. I would always, when you're studying for your test, and y'all will have a fraction test next week, go over these pages. Review over all the different things that we learned about fractions.